Indian Air Force pilot and astronaut designate Shubhanshu Shukla along with his three fellow crew mates have begun a two week long quarantine after landing in Florida as the final launch preparations began for the much anticipated Axiom Mission 4. Now this phase of quarantine helps make sure the team stays healthy before going into space. It protects them from catching any illness before the lift off because even a minor infection could delay the mission or pose risk to fellow space travelers. So during the next two weeks, they'll remain in a controlled, isolated environment with very limited contact to remain mission ready. According to the latest update, the liftoff is scheduled to take place from the launch complex at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on June 8th, precisely at 6.41 p.m. Indian Standard Time, subject to the final review and the weather conditions. Now, the mission was previously slated for launch on May 29th, but got delayed. Axiom Mission 4 is a private collaborative space mission led by Axiom Space with NASA, ISRO as well as the European Space Agency. It's also the first government-sponsored flight not just for India but also for Poland and Hungary in more than 40 years. According to ISRO Chairman Dr. V. Narayanan, almost about 550 crore has been spent on this mission, including the training cost. But Axiom Space has carried out several private space flights before. Why is this mission any different? Well, it's an important milestone for India because it will mark the first time an Indian astronaut, in this case Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, who will travel to the International Space Station for the very first time. So far, only cosmonaut Rakesh Sharma holds a record for being the only Indian to travel to space, that too in 1984, aboard a Russian Soyuz. But he did not visit the International Space Station, which was launched much later, around 2000. The Soviet spacecraft he travelled in had docked into Salyut 7 space station, a Soviet space station that remained operational till the year 1991. Also, apart from being a historic milestone, this is a strategic private collaboration that ISRO has invested in. If you remember, India has already announced its first ever human space flight, Gaganyaan, scheduled for launch in the year 2027. Now, it has selected four astronaut designates, including Group Captain Shukla. So this mission is a precursor to that, almost like a training for Group Captain Shukla, who is going to pilot the spacecraft. During the 14-day mission, uh, the spacecraft will remain docked to the orbiting lab, and the astronauts will conduct global outreach activities, microgravity research, and tech demonstrations. ISRO has also shortlisted seven experiments for the 14-day mission. And as the ISRO chairman, Dr. V. Narayanan says, and I quote, the benefits we'll get from this mission are phenomenal in terms of the training, exposure to the facilities, and the experience of jointly conducting experiments in space. So, recently, Axiom Space organized a ceremonial send-off for the crew ahead of their launch. The employees came together to celebrate. The crew send-off is actually a tradition that pays tribute to the dedication and the tireless efforts of the staff prior to the crew embarking on their mission. The four astronauts have spent the past several months undergoing intensive training at Axiom Space, NASA's Johnson Space Center, as well as SpaceX facilities. Shukla will be accompanied by former NASA astronaut and director of the human space flight at Axiom Space, Peggy Whitson, as commander of the commercial mission. There will be two mission specialists, ESA project astronaut Swavosh Ozanki from Poland and Tibor Kapu from Hungary, also on their maiden visit to the ISS. I'm sure this mission will be a success, said Shukla at the event. The next key milestone is the launch readiness review set for June 7th. During this review, officials from Axiom Space, NASA and SpaceX will assess the readiness of the Falcon 9 rocket, the Dragon spacecraft and the systems aboard the ISS.